With the war raging in Ukraine, there's been a growing movement within the United States to boycott one of Russia's best-known products, vodka. Vodka is the best-selling spirit in the United States. However, many business owners and bar patrons have been removing the bottles of Russian-made vodka from shelves, dumping it out, and some states have even banned the sale of it. So far, the governors of Utah, New Hampshire, North Carolina, and West Virginia have issued executive orders instructing their state's alcohol control agencies to remove Russian liquor from shelves. Both Ohio and Iowa's governors have ordered their state's alcohol control agencies to halt purchases of Russian-produced liquor. Pennsylvania's Liquor Control Board on Sunday instructed state-run fine wine and good spirits liquor stores to halt the buying and selling of Russian products, following a plea from Governor Tom Wolf. Oregon's Liquor and Cannabis Commission on Monday ordered stores to remove Russian-made liquor from sale, storing remaining supplies of the liquor in a Portland warehouse. And some states who haven't flat-out banned it have still made their stance known, like Texas Governor Greg Abbott, who is asking stores to voluntarily remove Russian products. Or Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas, who tweeted that Americans should dump Russian vodka and send the empty bottles to Ukraine to use for Molotov cocktails. The boycotts and bans are a meaningful show of solidarity with the people of Ukraine. However, bans and boycotts won't impact sales that much, as Russian vodka sales have declined 79% over the past 10 years. In fact, Russian vodka accounted for just $18.5 million, or 1.3%, of all vodka imports to the United States in 2021. Compare that to the $660 million imported from France, $291 million from the Netherlands, $177 million from Sweden, and $137 million from Latvia. Russian Standard is one of the leading Russian vodka brands in the US, but you can see how its sales are dwarfed by non-Russian brands like Tito's, New Amsterdam, and Smirnoff. While Smirnoff is another high-profile vodka brand that traces its origins to Russia, it is no longer based in Russia, and Smirnoff consumed in the US is produced in Plainfield, Illinois. So while the Russian vodka ban packs a symbolic punch, it really only impacts a tiny proportion of total liquor sales. But regardless of sales, the message is clear. 